Let's talk about the possessive case of nouns. In the last video, we talked about the nominative case, and that was the first one. In this case, we're going to talk about the possessive case, which is John's here and Bull's here. That shows possession of objects. The possessive case is also called a genitive, but that's not a word that you need to really worry about. Just know the word possessive. Uh, we're going to add an apostrophe s, right, at the end of the word, or sometimes simply the apostrophe and no extra s at the end of the word to show ownership. Let's look at some uses here. When do we use that? Um, number one, let's see, uh, the uses of the possessive ownership, as in to show that Marco mil owns the millions. Um, Edward owns eye, teeth, okay, that must be some typo, ignore that, okay, so Edward's eyes. How about source or origin, as in Adam's sin, it's not necessarily that Adam has that sin, but uh, source of something, where that sin came from, God's country, the Pope's encyclical, and so on. Uh, manufacturer or authorship, as in Johnson's baby lotion. The baby lotion comes from Johnson or Johnson and Johnson or I guess whatever the company name is. Um, and this Johnson's Lives of the Poets. Lives of the Poets would be named, the title of uh, the written work. And Johnson in this case would be the author. And also association, connection, attribute or duration as in a woman's work, a month's delay, at swords, point, and so on. All right, so just a lot of uses, but we don't really have to think of them in those terms. Um, the singular possessive, how do we use it? We just use um, an apostrophe S, right? So child's play, Keats's ode, woman's work, Thomas's doubts, Harold's hope, Dickens's novels, apostrophe S. Now, with the names like Keats and Thomas and Dickens, um, you might be thinking, hey, it already ends in an S, shouldn't we just put an apostrophe? Well, that depends on how you want to say it and how you want the readers to say it. If you want the readers to say Keats's, then you're going to add that extra S in your writing so that you can help the reader along. Uh, Thomas's, we have no problem saying Thomas's, Chris's, James's, and this is how we normally say it. If you're going to say that extra S syllable, then go ahead and write it. Only the apostrophe is added if another S would cause sibilance to pile up. So this is the, the rule. Sibilance are the S sounds, and sometimes the names already have too many S sounds. If it already has two S sounds and you want to add third one, that would be the case of sibilance piling up, and we don't want that. So instead of saying Aristophanes' comedies, which is kind of hard to say, Aristophanes, is, it's got too many syllables already, there is an S in there already, so it's already got two, now you're going to add a, a third one, not very good. So instead of that, we'll prefer to say Aristophanes, comedies, with just the apostrophe. Dr. Seuss's cartoons, do we want to say that? That's a little too hard, so we'll just say Dr. Seuss cartoons, that's fine, okay? So no additional S in that case. Plural possessives, add only the apostrophe when the plural form ends in an S. So if you're going to talk about lot of horses, all right, you have to write horses with the S at the end. Now, if you want to talk about tails belonging to those horses, what are we going to do? We're going to put that apostrophe, but we're not going to add an extra S because that's too many S's there. Um, and, well, we don't need it. What about when we want words, plural words, that does not end in an S, like the word children? All right, so you wrote the plural for child, children, turns out there's no S there. So if you want the um, possessive form, you're going to put apostrophe S. It doesn't cause any problems. Group genitive. Add apostrophe S to the last word. All right, so like compound nouns um, or compound words where you have hyphenated words. Um, Brother-in-law, for example. Just put apostrophe S to the end. 
brothers-in-law you got many brothers-in-law so brothers-in-law but you're just gonna put an apostrophe s there YMCA's program and and so on all right four more usage rules here informal usage inanimate objects do not take the possessive case okay so this is a general rule that children will swear by they often will even correct teachers and say um, teacher you can't put an apostrophe s and use the possessive there because that's not a person only persons can have apostrophe s and that's not really true as a general rule yes we should use apostrophe s for persons um, and we should use the of form if it's not a person if it's object but there are many cases in this case uh, the book says except for some constructions that have been that have long been in use in the language okay um, as in examples of goodness sake days march conscience call um, kind of expressions that are kind of you know been there it's traditional and it's kind of cliched it's already there that form in that form so you don't want to change it to an of um, whereas expressions like this if you're talking about pages of a book we don't want to say books pages or grammars principles we want to say uh, principles of grammar but this is not really uh, a strong rule I think even um, professional writers uh, they'll use you know their judgment freely like they'll use apostrophe s on countries or oh I don't know companies and so on so it doesn't really have to be always for persons so let's give it a try write a sentence that uses a possessive case of a noun please write it uh, as a comment to this video the book we're using is English Made Simple you can make a small donation by um, going to Amazon I'm sorry going to hopegof.org and using the link there to get to Amazon and purchasing the book the Kindle version is about eight dollars